a picture from an elevation of 9,251 feet with the target 273 miles away that had an elevation of 13,458 feet. But according to this Earth curvature site, the entire mountain range should have been completely hidden. This is the website he referred to, Beyond Horizons, home of the current distance site world record. Current world record of distant landscape photography. These are the two uh, mountain ranges right here, I believe. We see a silhouette of this place, blah, 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 4102 meters in the middle left of the image from this other mountain, 2820 meters at 440 kilometers before the sunrise. Okay, so um, since this is all in meters, let me convert this to feet. 4102, 13458 was the elevation for the distant mountain range. From this other place right here, which is at 2820, and just to confirm, yep, 9251 and change, so 9252, let's just say. That's the altitude of the um, photographer. Go to the Earth Curve calculator here everybody likes to use. That's the um, height of the observer. 9251.969 and the distance at 440 kilometers away and miles 273.403 so what is supposed to be hidden according to this the horizons at 117.799969 miles away according to this if you're here this is at that altitude, your horizon is going to be at 117.8 miles away. And the target over here should be 16,140.1805 below your ability to see it. So if I'm understanding this correctly, the top of that mountain range should be 2,682.1755 feet below the curvature. In other words, about a half mile below the ability of the observer to see it. Now, of course, my detractors are likely going to say that, uh, no, 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 the reason he's seeing it is because light's bending up over the curvature because of gravity, and uh, what he's really seeing is a mirage and all kinds of other ridiculous nonsense like that. But I don't know if you can get a world record for taking a picture of a atmospheric distortion of a mirage. Got the details right here. Uh, apparently, this is where the photographer was, and this is the mountain range that he was taking a picture of, and the mountains were apparently all identified here, with the world record being 443 kilometers away. But the math says that's not possible on a globe. What is your best single bit of evidence? For what you're claiming, and what would it take to show that you're wrong? Oh, that's an easy one. My best single piece of evidence which supports the fact that the Earth is flat. My best single piece of evidence comes in from a researcher named Jenna Frito. Jenna Frito performed a wonderful experiment not only once, but twice. And in both instances, she got the same result and proved beyond the shadow of a doubt that there is no curvature upon the Earth. In the experiment that Jenna performed, she stood in the state of New York and looked across Lake Ontario at the Toronto skyline. She was able to see a white building known as the Rogers Center. Now the Rogers Center is only 282 feet tall. Now at 31 miles away across Lake Ontario, the 282 foot tall Rogers Center should have been absolutely covered up by the Earth's curvature. But we can clearly still see the Rogers Center from 31 miles away. We can see the building from top to bottom when the entire building should be covered up by the supposed curvature of the Earth. And here's the kicker, Neil. Not only did she do this experiment once, she did this experiment twice and got the same result both times. And when you can do an experiment yourself that is observable, 
verifiable, and repeatable, that is indicative of a real scientific experiment because that's what real science is. It's observable, verifiable, and repeatable. Here's her second experiment. She did the same exact experiment except got a little closer to the edge of the water. Now her observer height is only six foot. Six foot in observer height and she's looking 31 miles across Lake Ontario at the Toronto skyline and she's looking at a white building, the Rogers Center, which is only 282 feet tall. This is a physical impossibility given the current curvature formula and online curvature calculators such as Metabunk. Jenna Frito was able to not only beat the online curvature calculator known as Metabunk, she was able to destroy the online curvature calculator. And she did it twice. So now, Neil, your job is to prove why we can see the Rogers Center from 31 miles away, even though it should be covered up by the Earth's curvature. And you ask, what would it take to prove me wrong? That would take you giving a verifiable measure of curvature across Lake Ontario. 